I watch media coverage and everything's about race. And America is divided by race. That's America's original sin. It's the thing that cleaves us as a country. You didn't mention that. Yeah. You, it's, so, so why do they keep telling me that? They blow what I, what I call woke smoke to deflect accountability for their own failure, actually. So you, what do you think affirmative action has done for black people in this country? Nothing. What do you think? The, it's, it's, it's been negative. It's created racism that otherwise would not have existed. I've seen it. I have hired black executives at companies I have founded on merit. I could care less for the skin color. And then behind closed doors, people will say, well, that person got their job because of race. Because they're jealous because they weren't good enough to get the job. But that is sad. It's unfair to everyone involved. They'll blow woke smoke. They'll say math is racist. When in fact, you know, what might be wrong is not teaching kids in the inner city for a year under COVID lockdowns how to do math. And then they're using this to cover up for that failure. I personally think that's actually what's going on in the US military too, right? People wonder about where's this wokeness in the military coming from? I mean, our military has been disastrous in defining its purpose, how we're actually using the resources of a military to fight wars that we haven't actually shown great value from in the last 25 years. So let's just talk about systemic racism and white rage instead. It's a deflection mechanism. Companies do it, the military does it, schools do it, teachers unions do it. It's irrelevant and in fact, what would they ever do without those poor black kids who they could hold out as the sacrificial lambs for their own failures. What we actually need to do is to level up and say, no, 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 regardless of the color of your skin, how are we gonna be a country that ensures opportunity, black, white, man, woman, doesn't matter. You know, my parents came to this country with almost no money. I've gone on to found multi-billion dollar companies. And then people tell me, oh, that's because you had privilege. <laughs> they tell me white privilege. It's sort of weird. It's sort of an interesting. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Do you, do you tell them? <laughs> I, 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 I say, take the blindfold off, <laughs> and, and, and now you have your answer. But but the interesting answer is actually what I do tell them, Tucker, is that I did have privilege. I didn't grow up in money, but I had two parents in the house, a mother and a father, with a focus on education and a faith in God. And you know what? That is the ultimate privilege that if I'm gonna enjoy that, every kid in this country ought to enjoy it too.